Hello, I'm Joe Tai from Values Coach, author of The Florence Prescription, and this is a special message for nurses at the Atlanta VA Medical Center. You know, it's often said that it's a shame to waste a crisis, and we are certainly in the midst of a crisis of multiple dimensions right now, but nobody has ever faced a healthcare crisis more severe, more daunting than that which confronted Florence Nightingale in 1854 when she arrived at the Scutari Barrack Hospital. The place was filthy, dirty, it was infected, uh, medical care was atrocious, supplies were limited if available at all, the mortality rate exceeded 50% in that four, first horrible winter. Florence wrote a letter home and she said, this place is the kingdom of hell. And it was, and yet over a period of only two years, Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp we all remember, established nursing as a true, real profession, defined what it means to be a nurse. She created a blueprint for the hospital as we know it today. Literally every department in a hospital, with the exception of high-tech things that didn't exist back then, can trace its roots back to the Scutari Barrack Hospital. And she became history's most ferocious advocate for the health care of soldiers and veterans and their families. In fact, toward the end of her life, she was recorded by Thomas Edison. She could have said anything she wanted to. She chose to talk about a fundraiser for veterans of the Crimean War. She was totally devoted for 50 years to the care of veterans. Philip Longman wrote the book, Best Care Anywhere, Why VA Care is Better Than What Everybody Else Gets. I hope you've read it. But you know, Best Care Anywhere requires what? Best Nurses Anywhere. And our challenge in this healthcare crisis we're facing now is twofold. One, how do we take the best care anywhere and make it even better? Because our veterans deserve better than the best. Number two, how do we as individuals emerge better and stronger, more resilient, more positive? How do we become better caregivers, better nurses, better people? How do we take, for example, the seven promises of the Self-Empowerment Pledge, internalize them to be not just better caregivers, but better parents, better citizens, better human beings. You know, at Values Coach, we have worked with a number of Veterans Health Administration Medical Centers and CBOX. And here's something I've always noticed. It's always struck me. More people refer to our veterans, my veterans, than the generic, the veterans. And isn't that a pretty good definition of what a culture of ownership must feel like for the veterans that you care for? Nobody in the world deserves better care than our veterans. That is what a culture of ownership looks like. That is what our veterans deserve. So I wanna thank all of you for everything you do for our veterans. And I hope that you will do everything you can do to not let this crisis be a waste but to grow and learn from it, to become stronger, more resilient, more positive. Thank you.